top of the gun just right there. I mean, literally, they were just, as soon as I released that, that bass, there's another one. Better size, I think. A little bit better size. They're just munching on them up here. On the shallows. That's a good bass. Stay on, baby. Stay on, stay on, stay on. guys was back out here at Joe Pool. Uh, I've been going to Lake Arlington for about a month. Not a whole month, but uh, about three Saturdays in a row. I've gone out to Lake Arlington and caught some small fish the first weekend I was there. And then I just couldn't land a fish whatsoever. I'll put some clips uh, on this video. Uh, and then I just skunked. Just couldn't catch any fish. So came back to the place that I know, the place that I like to fish, and I was just trying to learn how to fish uh, docks and grass, and Lake Arlington has both of that, so I was just trying to expand my way fishing knowledge, I guess you would say. But, I, I did, like I said, I was able to get on fish one day, and it was, I don't know if it was the heat, just, they kept on coming off. But their mouths were like paper, man. Everything I threw, crankbaits, they would come off crankbaits. Uh, they came off of, uh, I think I threw like a Texas rig. And, uh, it's whatever, man. I mean, I, I tried my best and I was just tired of getting skunked, so I came back to Joe it's a beautiful day. It's not going to be so hot today. It's going to be upper 80s, but not 100 day, like 100 high or anything. So you should manage to be out here for a while and be comfortable at the same time. So. But I truly do miss coming out here, man. It's, it's kind of my place to come and fish. So.
I'm gonna go with this six cents. Uh, it's a hundred X. Missing an eye because I hit that tree earlier this morning. But I think I'm still working. This I like this car a lot. Um, was able to get the bird's nest out of that um, rod and I'm just gonna go ahead and try this I haven't tried this half ounce Guggen black and blue uh, jig and I had uh, like a baby cracking or something and that looks pretty good actually it's something I would throw around here so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot see if we get bit That was a little bastard with anything, dude. Came out for our boat. Come on, baby. Keep doing it. Go down, see you. Oh, she's out here. Finally. So it's about the same size but the one I just lost. Big, but haven't had a bass in a while, so I'm gonna try to come back out here and uh, throw it back in here. I mean, I, I just saw these chad pop up. So I caught this guy, so go ahead and look. Got a bloody tail. So. Alright, buddy. Alright, so skunk's off. So this is the right bait to throw. I mean, they are not shy. They're just eating right here in front of us. And it's so cool. So cool to see. So they probably chopped them up here on this wall. So I'm going to try to stay back here and just cast into him. Uh, I got tapped again just right there. I mean, literally, they were just, as soon as I released that, that bass, there's another one. Better size, I think. A little bit better size. They're just munching on him up here on the shallows. Yeah, that's a good bass. Stay on, baby. Stay on, stay on. Get in the oh yes yes they are not shy this is a good bass so 
this is a friggin' good bass that I just caught. So let me get the hooks out of here and wait. I don't know if I have my scale on me. But like I said, they're not being shy whatsoever. Look, that's like barely hooked on that lip. Okay. Hold on, bud. Hold on, bud. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Joe pull stud. He's a little beat. Look at him. But he's a good fish. So let me try to get my skip. So, I mean, man, these fish ain't being shy. I've never seen anything like that. So, zero down. That's about two pounds. Four point eight one. That's a good bass. So let him go, man. I don't want to keep him up. Get munching. Get food. It's a nice bass right there. A little beat. It's good to be back at Joe Pool. This guy go in there. Fight, bud. Thanks for the fight, bud. <laughs> I hit the bird. I was like, whoa. Something is just demolishing the shad behind me. I'm stuck in a tree. <laughs> what a freaking. There it is. Third fish of the day. I heard him eating out of here while I got stuck. Wanting to scope this spot out. There you go. So, little bass, third fish of the day. 